always something that's special around the world. Whether it's a Mini Metro or a Ferrari 458, everyone remembers their first car in a fond light. Whether it was bad, amazing, cheap or expensive, everyone thinks of them in that same nostalgic, fuzzy way. <laughs> this is a 2006 Seat Ibiza 1.4 DAB Special Edition. Now that is a mouthful for a car that really isn't that complicated. <laughs> this Seat Ibiza isn't that much different to every other one you see on the road driving around. Um, it is a 1.4 litre four cylinder 16 valve engine with 98 horsepower. For a car that only weighs 1,020 kilograms, it's actually not that bad. in this car has been lengthened slightly from 6,000 RPM to 7,000 giving it a little bit more top end and a little bit more horsepower. The acceleration is fairly average with a 0 to 60 time of 10.8 seconds. So 0 to 30 mile now is actually quite nippy but it does lose out from then on. Now the H point in the car is a little bit strange. You do sit quite nice and low in the car and the seats are very nice, quite a lot of support. I tend to find that the steering wheel is a little bit far away, just a little bit. I'd like it a little bit closer to me and the pedals are a little bit too close. Maybe grannies like it, maybe it's better for uh, shorter people. You have to rev the car to get anything from it. You don't get any power to about three and a half thousand RPM. So, if you're in fourth gear, nothing. You have to downshift it one. Third gear, 4,000 RPM, and that's where the power really starts to pick up and come in. The brakes are actually surprisingly good. If you've got a good set of rubber on the car too, uh, you will find that you will stop very quickly. The car is light and there are discs all around. Now I tend to find that the rear pads and discs tend to, uh, tend to rust fairly quickly. Chassis is fantastic. It's fairly stiff as suspension would go, but it hugs the road very nicely and you can feel quite a lot through the steering wheel. So it's very responsive as cars go. <laughs> now you see, the thing I love about this car is it revs out and you can use all of the power all of the time. It just, it just wants to rev up and have fun and not really throw you off the road, which is cool. And I think as a first car, that is absolutely perfect. Now I insured this car a few years ago as a 17 year old for 1,400 pounds in the UK, which for a car with 100 horsepower and some performance is actually pretty damn good. Something to consider with this car as well is the exhaust note. You can't particularly hear it from inside the car as it's completely stock and not necessarily a sports exhaust. And I think if you fitted an aftermarket exhaust kit, you could get some very nice noises. The only thing I've had go wrong with this car is a coil pack in the two and a bit years I've owned it. That was a 200 pound fix in a garage. And if you wanted to fix it yourself, I think it would be around 50 quid if you wanted the bits. I picked up my car for 3,000 pounds back in 2014 with 40,000 miles on the clock. So, overall, the Seat Ibiza 1.4 DAB edition is a fantastic first car in my books. Or just a little city runaround if you don't have that much cash to spend. This car is very quirky and uh, has a few strange little features. But the features I like too. It's enjoyable, fun to drive, cheap to insure, and has a very stable chassis that will be great for learners and people who are more into their performance driving too, but don't have the budget necessarily. Myself. Thank you for watching today. I really appreciate you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And let me know if you would like to see more future reviews and driving videos. Guys, I will see you soon. Make sure you stay safe. Have a good time, and I'll see you soon. Peace.